Welcome to Business Bites. I am Mashudu Masuta. The JSC finished the day up by 1.1% at 29,357 points. We spoke to Vlad Anushin from RNB Asset Management looking at the World Bank loan to ESCOM. Maybe we can put it in perspective, and that is ESCOM is planning about 400 billion rand over the next five years to spend on uh, our power needs. To, to finish Madupi, they will, would have spent about 80 billion rand. So 20 billion in itself doesn't sound that much. What is important, though, is that this is the cash that they're lacking right now to pay the contract, contractor so that they can actually finish and fire it up by the call it winter next year. The Nigerian market was up by 0.81% at 27,712 points. We spoke to Ola Tunje Adesanya from Vertiva Capital to give us a view on the Nigerian market. We are up about almost um, over 6% this week. And um, from the way we actually saw demand and supply in the market today, we are, we are not showing signs of um, abating from what if trend we've actually been seeing over the past couple of weeks. Um, don't let's forget, um, we have um, global markets trading around their 18 months, 18 months high. But yes, we are still trading around our nine months, nine, nine months high. So I think there's still lots of room um, for, for appreciation. And of course, um, the results that have been coming have not been too bad. And of course, the, 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 the dismal interest rates in the market uh, money markets and REITs is, is also still giving some investors confidence that we continue to see much more buying in equities markets. The NSC 20 ended the day flat at 4,062 points. We spoke to Waiyaki Yinga from Waiyaki and Associates giving us a wrap of the week's trade. Well, I'd say we're seeing a lot of profit taking that is continuing and uh, has been going on. If you look at even the, in terms of the NS, NSC 20 share index is actually flattening out. There's, uh, it's, not, it's not gone up. It's just within operating within the highs of about 4,060, 4,059. Now, with that, when you look at the stock in mind, there's an issue of a lot of profit taking. So most people have made those who ended up buying of around in December 36 shillings to highs of almost 62 shillings are now making the most of it. For more news and videos, go to abndigital.com.